All right, it's been a while since we got the One UI 4.0 on our devices. So in this video, I would like to share my final thoughts about this major upgrade based on Android 12. After watching this video, I request you guys to share your final verdict about it in the comment section below. While you do that, smash that like button to run that like meter upwards to at least 1000 likes and smash that subscribe button as well. Now, let me rate this UI based on different criteria. First one is animation. The animation on One UI 4.0 is pretty good. It's neither too slow nor too quick. Of course, we can change the animation scales in developer settings, but the default animation scale is pretty good. Although it's quite pleasing to the eye, there is definitely some room for improvement. I would rate animations 8 out of 10. Next, the features. We always look for new and enhanced features when we get an all new version of Android. With One UI 4, we did get some important safety, security and privacy features, customization features such as color palettes, battery protection feature which cuts the charging when it reaches 85%, extra dim, some minor features on keyboard, new widgets. Apart from these, we got some enhancements to the feature which were already existing in gallery, calendar, accessibility, camera and Bixby routines. However, some of the important features such as extra dim, Google Discover, object eraser, dual recording modes, etc. did not make it to the older flagships yet. That bothers me and I'm sure even you would feel the same if you own the predecessors. There is a lot of room for improvement in this section. Considering this, I would rate this 7 out of 10 for features. Next one is battery performance. I did test the battery on Note 10 Plus and Note 20 Ultra for which I did post a couple of videos. If you have missed those videos, the links are in the description. Go ahead and check them out. On my devices, I got slightly better screen on time. However, I did read many comments saying that the battery has deteriorated. I mean, of course, after updating it to One UI 4.0. Based on these observations, I would rate battery performance 8 out of 10. My request to you guys is, do share your screen on time after upgrading it to One UI 4.0. If possible, go for a factory reset to get a better battery performance, after which you can test your screen on time and share it in the comment section so that it can benefit the community. Now let's go to the next criteria, that is the camera. Though the change log talks a lot about the camera, there is no major changes here. It's basically the layout design changes and redesigned icons, enhanced scanning options and that's about it. There is no new features here, camera scores 6 out of 10. Okay, now most important thing, how intuitive is the user interface? How do you feel using this iteration of One UI 4.0? I would say it is the best we had so far. The UI is quite responsive, it's quite fluid and easy to use. I'm really loving it on the devices I have. I would rate this 10 out of 10. Okay, now the overall score is 7.8 out of 10. That's the rating we would like to give. I would like to know what do you think about this version of One UI 4.0. Share your average score considering all these criteria. Let me know in the comment section below and also let me know which country you are commenting from. I am actually loving this One UI 4.0 though there are some features missing in the older devices. Overall, the usability and features are pretty decent. It's much better than One UI 3.1. That's my verdict. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.